Are you encouraged by the fact that the Trump administration didn't cut the budget for NASA? Well, there was some, there was some weirdness in there. Yes, the, the budget was not cut. Uh, we were delighted to hear that he's a fan of space. But there was talk at some point of, we'll keep the budget there or, or top it off, but we have to remove Earth science from it. And this is, it had, that actually had appeared in NASA's original charter back in 1958 that it would study Earth as well as the planets and the stars. So if you take away Earth, and Earth is the system that supports us, our life and our, and our livelihood, uh, I, I don't know what the consequences of that. So, so you have to watch the, the, the was the sheep in clothing? How, how, how's that expression Wolf go? Wolf and Wolf sheep. And Wolf. <laughs> I'm a city kid. <laughs> Me too, but I know that one. You know that one. Uh, a wolf in sheep's clothing. So uh, my hope was always with the Trump administration. He's a, he's a businessman, business people. Um, you expect them to make decisions that are sort of simple and blunt regarding money, for example. And any good business person knows that you need a healthy flow of money into the R&D part of your company to assure survival going and competitiveness going forward. So it seems to me he ought to be responsive to an argument such as, uh, by the way, investments in science, technology, engineering, and math, the STEM fields, as a nation, will help America, Inc. to thrive and compete in the out years uh, when the fruits of these investments arrive. And that's a business statement. Forget the politics. You can make that just as a simple business argument. No. And my, my hope is that some part of him can listen to that. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.